Hey everyone, Dana here. As you may know, if you've seen my vlog from Graz from a few weeks ago, I was in Austria. And while I was there, there were a few things that I saw or experienced that really surprised me. And as, as I said in this video, five things you definitely don't say to Germans. Yes, I know that Austria is not Germany. Just because German is spoken in both countries, I realize they are different countries. But still, hearing German being spoken all around me there, I didn't really feel like I had gone that far. And yet, from some of the things going on around me that I'm gonna mention in this video, it was very, very clear to me that I was in a different country. So then, let's just jump right into it. Smoking. As you know, if you saw my Graz vlog, check it out after this video if you haven't seen it yet. One thing that really surprised me in Austria was the smoking. Smoking in restaurants, smoking in cafes. I thought I even smelled cigarette smoke in a bookstore once, but maybe it just wafted in there from a cafe or from outside. But yeah, either way, there was a lot of smoking going on, much more than I'm used to here in Munich. I have gotten so used to not seeing smoking in restaurants here that I had to do a double take and almost didn't believe my eyes or my nose when I saw or smelled the cigarette smoke seemingly all over the place in Graz. And then I was surprised again that night when in my non-smoking hotel room in the middle of the night, I was awoken by the really strong smell of cigarette smoke. Apparently the room next to mine was not non-smoking. In Germany, are there also smoking and non-smoking hotel rooms? I thought that in Germany, all hotel rooms are non-smoking, but maybe I've got that wrong. So yeah, let me know down in the comments, smoking rooms in German hotels, yes or no? And what are your thoughts on having smoking sections in places? I guess for me, I wouldn't really mind having smoking hotel rooms if they are far away from the non-smoking rooms. But I gotta say, I'm not a fan of smoking sections, for example, in restaurants, because the smoke inevitably blows over into the non-smoking section. And then it's like, kind of, no point in having the two sections. But yeah, let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Jaywalking. From traveling around Germany, I have noticed that this definitely differs around the country. In Munich, for example, people walk across the street when the crosswalk light is red or not at a crosswalk a lot less often than in Berlin. In Berlin, I've seen people crossing a crosswalk when the light is red a little more often than in Munich. But both in Cologne and Munich, for example, I have seen signs telling people not to cross the crosswalk on a red light to wait until the light has turned green. So yeah, people in Germany in general obviously care enough about jaywalking to make signs about how you should not do it in at least two cities. So how is it in Austria? Well, at least in Graz, I was totally shocked because it seemed to be jaywalking everywhere. First of all, there didn't seem to be as many crosswalks in Graz as in, say, Munich. Like sometimes I needed to cross the street and I looked left and I looked right and I just didn't see a crosswalk anywhere nearby for me to use. So people just seemed to be crossing over the street kind of wherever they wanted to. And I don't know, maybe that's just in Graz? Yeah, I don't know. Let me know down in the comments. The language. Another thing that surprised me in Austria was the language. There were definitely different words being used, for example, and sometimes things were said with an accent, and I tried my best to understand, and I think I understood a lot of what was being said in Graz, but Definitely not everything. And when I went to the grocery store in Graz, I noticed that there were some foods labeled something different, so a different thing than what they're labeled in Germany, like Marillen for apricots. And in my Graz vlog, I also noticed in the comments that some people mentioned that in Austria, some people, I guess very few, 
refer to strawberries, I guess in dialect or slang, as ananas, which is the German word for pineapple. Let me know down in the comments if you've ever heard strawberries being called ananas. I think that's so interesting. And while I was in Austria, I was also told that in Lungau, Austria, the phrase ich muss mich überlegen is used to mean ich muss mich umziehen, which I was really surprised to hear this. I mean, ich muss mich überlegen usually means, I think, like I need to consider something, right? Let me know down in the comments. But apparently in that region, it's used to mean that you need to change your clothes, which I just find, yeah, super interesting, 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 interesting. Let me know down in the comments if you've ever heard that before as well. Friendliness. Quick disclaimer, I wasn't in Austria for very long. This was not a long trip. So obviously this could just be my special experience on this really short journey. But I must say, I was pretty surprised by how really friendly strangers were, like people working at restaurants and in stores and in the hotel where I was staying. They were really, really friendly. Has this also been your experience in Austria? Let me know down in the comments. So my question for you is, how have your experiences with these things been in Austria, in Germany, in the US, in other countries? What differences with these things have you noticed? And would you say that people in Austria are, in general, pretty friendly? Please let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. And a really, really, really big thank you so much to our patrons on Patreon who help make these videos possible. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. If you would like to check out our Patreon page, you can find a link to that down in the description box below. Until next time, Auf Wiedersehen!